welcome back to Logan Rando Aquascaping. My name is Logan and today we're gonna burn some rock with acid. So you may have heard of the process of acid washing aquarium hardscape. This is the process of creating an acid bath using something called muriatic acid and then bringing out more contrast in the stones. Most people do this with a suryu stone. It essentially makes the dark colors darker and the white streaks of calcium brighter and whiter. The other benefit of doing an acid wash is that if your rocks are stained with green algae, this is gonna completely get rid of that and make them look brand new. But before we dive in, a little safety precaution disclaimer. Be sure to handle acid very, very delicately and carefully. This stuff is not safe for your skin or eyes, so make sure you wear all protective eyewear and clothing, closed toe shoes, and avoid all contact with skin. Now let's get started. Okay, so in order to do this, you're gonna need a few materials. You're gonna need some muriatic acid. You can pick this up at like a hardware store. Think Home Depot in Lowe's. It's about 10 bucks for a gallon of it. I recommend picking up a gallon or two depending on how much hardscape you wanna acid wash. You're also gonna need a five gallon bucket or two. I highly recommend two one for the acid wash itself, and then one for soaking the stones in water afterwards. And then finally, you're gonna need some baking soda to neutralize the acid after the 10 minute acid wash is complete. Okay, so make sure you're doing this outside or in an extremely well-ventilated area. The fumes are very dangerous, so it's highly recommended that in addition to the regular safety wear, you also use a ventilator or a mask. You do not want to be breathing in the fumes. So the first thing you're going to do is load up your five-gallon bucket with your hardscape. And make sure you don't make the same mistake I did and overload the bucket. You really only want to fill things up about halfway, and that includes the acid, because what's going to happen is once that reaction starts, you're gonna get a bunch of foam that rises up and it'll overflow. So only fill that bucket up about a quarter to a third and that should include the acid volume as well. And once all your hardscape is in the bucket, you can fill it up with some water. We don't need to use pure acid. So if you're using half a gallon of muriatic acid, I recommend using a one-to-one -one ratio of water to acid. And you always add water before acid. You may remember this from sixth grade science. Do as you oughta, add acid to water. That prevents the acid splashing back in your face. And then you're gonna add your muriatic acid and you wanna do this very slowly and very controlled, very delicately. Remember, you don't wanna get this on your skin and you're gonna immediately see the reaction begin and it will start to foam up. And if you haven't overfilled your bucket, it'll sort of rise up super high without overspilling. As you can see in my footage, it spilled over, but again, that was okay. Now you're gonna to wanna to let this reaction go through for about five to 10 minutes. So give it some space. Once that five to 10 minute period is over, you're gonna add the baking soda, which is essentially gonna take that very, very acidic solution you've created in that bucket and neutralize it and make it less reactive and safe to dispose of. I used an entire little carton here of baking soda in the bucket just to err on the side of caution and just be prepared. Once you add the baking soda, you'll get even more of a reaction. So all the more reason to do this in a safe place where a little bit of spillover is okay. And then I would give that neutralization reaction about another 10 minutes. Once that process is over, you're gonna wanna very delicately and safely drain the bucket and then transfer the hardscape into a clean bucket filled with water. And you're gonna just let it soak in the water for 10 minutes. This is gonna help get rid of any sort of residual chemical and really give them a nice chance of being fully clean before they're gonna go in your aquarium. Once that process was over, I took things one step further and also rinsed them under the sink. And then I placed them on a towel on my front deck to dry. Now they're not underwater right now. So the definition and the contrast are not gonna be quite as visible, but I'm told that once you get these underwater, they have a really, really beautiful coloration and they're just more dark and dramatic. But even out here in the air, you can see that the white is just a lot more defined and those streaks really, really pop through on the Suryu stone. So happy to share this process with you. This was the first time I did it and I'm happy to say it really wasn't scary at all. Just follow basic safety precautions, the usual stuff you would do when working with dangerous chemicals and just be very, very careful and err on the side of caution. So hope this tutorial helped. If you liked the video, be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys and gals next time.